components. They are very useful and very interesting to solve, provided you know how to approach it. You look at the powers. The powers are different, the bases are different. So really, you cannot use any rules of exponents. So what you do is you want to bring the powers or you want to manipulate the powers to getting something in common. So you look at the powers 24 and 36, both come in the table of 12, correct? So I want to write them in terms of power of 12. So for 2 to the power of 24, 2 into 12 is 24. So I'm going to write 2 inside. I'm going to write 12 outside, okay? Similarly, for this one, 12 into 3 is 36. So I'm going to write the power of 3 inside and outside I'll write 12. Why did I do it? Now, you can solve this quite easily. You have to multiply and the powers are kind of same now. So 2 squared is 4. We have 4 to the power of 12 and 3 cubed is 27 to the power of 12. So same powers. You can indulge the numbers together now. So they can be multiplied first and then raised to the common power together. So remember you do this only when your terms are multiplying or dividing. Don't ever try this in case of addition or subtraction. So 4 times 27, the answer is pretty simple. It's 108 to the power of 12. That's it.